Montague Keen, March 18, 2012. As the Irish all over the world celebrate being Irish own what they see as their day, most of them are blissfully unaware of the decisions that were made at the Council of Nicaea to destroy the people of Ireland and their religion of love, preached by the Druids. The Cabal stole the real history of Ireland and its language, and they made slaves of its people. Though the indoctrination that followed was barbaric, it failed to break the Irish spirit. It was at this time that plans were made for the takeover of the world. It is all there for those who take the time to research it. Until you research this period of history, you will not understand what is happening in your world today. For that is when they wrote the Bible carefully following the formula, making slight changes here and there, to make it seem authentic. The Bible has been used to create fear of a hell that does not exist, and the God, who is love, has been changed into one who you need to fear. You have to hand it to them. They thought of everything. Those who control your world today. See 2012 as the year they will see their plans come to fruition. They continually give you notice of this. They do not hide their plans. They believe that you are so well controlled that you will fail to see them. I know it is hard to accept that those you accepted as fellow human beings could be so evil. They are prepared to destroy humanity to achieve their aims. They constantly tell you that they want to cut the population. They use genetically modified crops to destroy the food supply. They contaminate your water supply and the air you breathe. They even tell you, in advance, when they intend to kill you. Remember 9 over 11 and 7 sevenths. They produced what-if scenarios and they showed you what they had planned, and you did nothing. This gave them permission to carry out those plans. Now, I know how upset you are, my dear, as you now see them showing you what-if scenarios that may happen at the London Olympics. You know that they do not waste time or effort on speculation. They are telling you that they intend to eliminate many thousands of innocent human beings who are surplus to their requirements. My dear, you cannot personally stop people from going to these events. You can only hope and pray that people wake up and see clearly what is planned. You have done your bit by exposing these plans. Just look at the logo and the mascots with the all-seeing eye. They spell it out for you. It could not be more obvious. I did tell you that there are hurdles to overcome. This is one such hurdle. Veronica, you cannot protect everyone. People must remember that for their controllers to survive, they need the oxygen of fear and the spilling of blood. They cannot exist without it. By following their orders you keep them in control. It is when you learn to love your fellow man that peace and harmony will return. Refuse to kill or to create fear. Do not harm, in any way, those who have as much right to life as you have. When truth is revealed this year, and it is happening every day, then you will see the full picture. You will wonder how you could ever have believed the lies of religions and the cabal which ruled you. Money was created out of nothing by the Federal Reserve. It has controlled your world. It destroys whole countries, as well as many, many lives. It is time to stop chasing the gold. As Tom Ryan pointed out in your interview, people need to look within themselves to find the answers. It is time to take back your power.
directly connect with who you are and why you are on earth at this time. What is your role in reclaiming your world? Your controllers are carefully placing false information to create a false sense of security. Do not take your eyes off what is actually happening. It has worked in the past, so they follow the same formula every time. Question everything and check all information, no matter what source it comes from. Discernment is called for in all matters. When you accept that the history you were taught is total lies, research it for yourselves. Then the real truth will dawn on you. You will then understand fully when the Kabbal set its plans in motion and how mankind has been used and abused ever since. The Kabbal have had it all their own way for nearly 2,000 years. They molded your existence, always ensuring that you were beholden and indebted to them, and of course, in fear of them. You have served them all this time, whether through religion or governments. They have always been in control. It is only in recent years that you have been able to learn just who the Cabal are, and what their plans entail. I accept that it was difficult for many of you to believe that those you had trusted were actually evil to the core. There is a bright side to all of this doom and gloom. Once you face up to the challenges before you, you will see everything clearly. You need to reignite the light within each and every one of you. Learn who you are. Connect with your higher selves. Then the universe and the world of spirit will welcome you back into the fold. You also need to reignite and reconnect all the sacred places in your world. These connections were deliberately destroyed by the Cabal. There are good people out there, ready and willing to ensure that this happens. Be positive at all times. You know we will succeed. Good will triumph over evil. My dear, it is Mother's Day. Enjoy the sentiments which are sincerely meant, and the gifts from your children. You always put what you see as duty, before pleasure. I thank you. All that we ask, is that people open their minds to the possibility that they might still be locked into the control and belief systems that were forced on them. Be happy, my love, knowing that I never leave you. We are together forever. Your adoring, Monty. Website. Amontague Foundation.